And for those of us out there, the 15 people who are probably listening, this is our first time with a whole new crew doing Declassified for at least two months because of lack of employees and everything else. And you, Candace, are our first guest. Oh, well, I thank you for having me here. You're very <laughs> Did you introduce? So, Candace, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do before? All right. So, my name is Candace Henson, and I am the Executive Administrative Assistant to Dr. Daryl Kennedy, who is the Regional Assistant Superintendent for the Me Cluster Schools. Yep. Dr. Uh, Kennedy's a pretty good dude. He is. Yeah. Pretty awesome. He seems to care. He Love does care a, a lot times. about the kids, the families, everything in the Mead Cluster. Um, he was a principal at Mead High School, so like Mead Cluster is like his heartbeat. Yeah. Um, and we were just, so the reason why I was a little bit late today, we were uh, giving a tour to Congressman Steny Hoyer. So oh, wow. we just became his district nice. after redistricting. So he had no idea about the schools mm -hmm. on Fort Meade, the fact that there were seven Anne Arundel County public schools on Fort Meade and where we play in the entire cluster. So we actually spent a lot of time, drove around the schools, uh, looked at the new high school, things of that nature, but just had no idea that we were as impactful. So how many, how many schools are in the cluster? 13. 13. So there's 10 elementary schools, two middle schools, and then the high school. Yep. And then, um, well, I hope he comes to our event that we're having. What event? The Me Cluster Spring event. Oh, I knew we were here for a reason. <laughs> I thought so too. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's our second one, right? Friends of Me? Yes, this is our second one. So, we have one in the fall in November um, that got pushed back due to weather. <laughs> but um, that one was a really big hit. Um, we had a bunch of families who came out. I've, I believe there were about maybe in between like 1,200 and 1,300 people that actually hot dogs Wow. The hot dogs definitely went quick. The Chick-fil-A sandwiches mm -hmm. went quicker than the hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're coming back. It's May, April 29th. It is going to be April 29th at Mead High School on their field, weather permitting. Um, if we do um, get that weather, we're going to move back indoors at Mead Middle School, and it will just be inside on the same day. That way, we don't have to worry about date changes, and it's going to be from 10 to 2. 10 to 2 Saturday, and I hear that we're going to be, besides vendors, besides, well, what, what's the purpose of, for those of, those of us who do not know, what's the purpose of the spring event and the and the, the Friends of Me events at the school. What, what, what are we hoping to get out of it? So we are basically hoping to build a lot more positivity around Mead, the Mead schools, Mead families. We want to showcase the amazing things that our students are doing um, within our schools. We want to promote them. So there's going to be showcases of students, whether they're dancing, stepping, cheering, um, the Mead High School color guard coming out, um, and some students are singing and reciting poetry, doing robotics. They want to show you what they built and tell you how it works. So really promoting our students and the amazing things that they're doing. But besides that, we want to build a community um, where our families feel comfortable and they're excited about all the amazing things that our students are doing. And we also want to promote our communities and the things that they have for our families, all the amazing resources that they might have that our families might not know about. Um, so that's pretty much the gist of, you know, the spring event, just like the fall event, just building that positivity around all the things that we're doing here. Do you have an idea of, um, so I know we got police, I know we got a few military organizations mm -hmm. participating. Are we, are we getting food? Um, there will be food. Um, 
things. So I know for sure there will be like hot dogs and burgers and our lovely Anne Arundel County Police Department nice. is going to be grilling it up for mm -hmm. us that day. <laughs> um, and we will have, uh, so far I have two food trucks who are going to be there. So um, one came to the fall event and that was the Funnel Cakes. And she oh. has um, all different sorts of kinds of funnel cakes and all toppings and everything that comes with it. And then another food truck called Unique Eats is also going to be there. And she has all different kinds of egg rolls and different forms of <laughs> cheesesteak egg rolls Unique and other, other things. So Unique Eats will also be there. Um, and they're charging, hot dogs are free. Hot dogs are free, yep. burgers will be free, um, but the food trucks will be the vendor prices. Yep, okay. I'm just looking at Gloria, <laughs> she, she's looking down at her notes. Um, so what other activities are the kids expected to find when they come there. I know we were talking about moon bounces earlier. Yeah, so um, we, it's going to be more so of a carnival style. So we have like cornhole, we have like a giant connect four. Um, so most of the games are, you know, the kids can do on their own with like adult supervision. So parents are there, they can help their um, student, their child uh, to do whatever the activity is. I know there'll be like potato sack races, maybe a little flag football activities going on. Um, and a lot of our staff are volunteering their time for this event. Um, so that it can be just as amazing as the fall event. So there will also be face painting. Um, there's so many things that's going to be happening. I can't even think of all of them <laughs> at the top of my head. Well, I know, so when Friends of Mead started about a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. like getting community organizations tied, you know, behind the Mead cluster, how we can get more of that feel, that a big part of it was helping transitioning students. So elementary schoolers getting to learn about their middle school and then middle schoolers getting to learn about the high school. Is there going to be any of those air opportunities for, for the school students to learn? So, so our, um, all of our schools will have a table um, with information at their tables, but more so specifically, our secondary schools will have information about the upcoming school year. So um, we're hoping that coaches for like the fall season for the high school will be there to be able to um, let students know what they're gonna be doing this summer to prepare them for high school. Our middle school um, staff will also be there to talk about the IB program at MacArthur. Um, and how students can be a part of that. Um, me, middle school staff will also be there so that students who, um, their next step is going from elementary to me, middle, they will be able to ask um, Carla Steinbach, who's the principal there, questions about the next you know, step into middle school, what's needed, and she'll be able to answer any questions that they have. Um, so yes, our secondary schools will be there so that families can ask questions and get answers to those questions about moving on to the next level. Nice. And then from my understanding, mm -hmm. we're supposed to be potentially renaming a street, which we'll get to that hopefully soon, but I also heard that Mead High, we're, we're going to finally find out the new colors for Mead High. Is that, we are. You can tell us now. <laughs> I could, but I can't. It's a secret. We have to hold the secret. <laughs> what, what was your choice? You can tell me that. Oh, I don't want to tell you that. Well, oh, it sounds like her choice got picked then. Yeah. It might be. Mm. Either that or she didn't make a choice. I mean, the world may never know. <laughs> wasn't there, was it purple a choice? Purple was a choice. I think the, gold. the golden uh, brown was a choice. Mm -hmm. The black and gray was a choice. Yep. Um, so really got, you know, student input on these choices because they are the ones who rock it every day. Yep. So, yeah. That's incredible. So hopefully you guys will be able to know what those new colors are on April 29th. Come on out. 10 to 2, Mead High School? 10 to 2 at Mead High School. Is, Weather uh, permitting. 
Dr. Kennedy will be there. You'll be there. Yep. I'll be there. We'll be working. Yeah. Probably a lot. A lot. A um, <laughs> lot of community organizations. Um, Lots of um, various AACPS offices for those people who have questions. Um, we will also have, you know, our transportation office there. Our HR department will be there for those people looking to um, get a job or start a career within AACPS. Um, those offerings will also be there. The Severance, the new Severance Center staff will be there to talk about the Severance Center. Yep. Um, I know Anne Arundel County Public Library will be there to talk about the amazing things they have going on and some summer programs that their student, that your child may be interested in doing at the library this summer. Um, and then a table for like some mental health support and things with um, Anne Arundel County um, Health Department as well. So you've been you've been working in school for a minute. I have been. Um, were you, as we've come up with, you know, as Friends of Mead has moved on, were you surprised or did you, of how many community resources are actually available to students outside of just the school? Um, not really surprised, um, but I was surprised by how many families aren't aware of the amount of resources that surround their community right. um, <laughs> which at the fall event they were able to at least find out about a lot of those resources and be able to obtain information from those vendors yes i am also looking for vendors so <laughs> so how can i sign up just want to put a plug in there for some vendors if you're interested in getting a free table at our Mead Cluster Spring event, you can email me at meadclusterevents at aacps.org. So Mead, M-E-A-D-E-C-L-U-S-T-E-R, E-V-E-N-T-S at aacps.org. Um, if you send me an email, I will forward you a link to sign up to be a vendor. Right, and I know we're working with military units to still mm -hmm. get them out. I know we're working on getting the working dogs. I know NSA and Cyber Command are coming out with some interactive uh, activities, hopefully recruiting. We'll get them out there as well. It's exciting. It's, it was. I was so happy with the fall event just yeah. by the number of kids. I know when we were setting up the night yeah. before, we are like, well, gosh, who's going to show up? Yeah. And they're still having bus service available yes. from the outside schools to be able to get, get them to meet high? Yeah, so um, we'll have two bus routes, one for like the Maryland City Brockbridge kind of area and then one for the areas across the way and then they'll bring them, they'll do a loop around to like three schools, each bus stop will do a loop around to three different schools and then be able to bring families to the event and also take them back home. So they'll be running nonstop from 10 to two, well before 10, um, to get families there by 10 o'clock. And then they'll be doing nonstop, going around to those schools and coming back to Mead High School. Nice. Now, and it's free, the transportation free is, is free. Yeah. Free is good. Free is good. And I was gonna <laughs> ask, so no offense, Candace, yes. but it's fair to say that Gloria Ann is Probably the last one of us to go through high school. Maybe. I, I will not argue with that statement. Yeah. <laughs> well, I uh, did I tell you though? Oh, I came in today. I shaved because we were going to do this. Oh, uh, no. And I'm going in. I see her first thing this morning. She's like, Do you shave? I'm like, yeah. She's like, Oh. It was. It did <laughs> yeah, not. Nice. It did not go like that. <laughs> <laughs> did your high schools have anything like this or did your cluster schools ever have community events like this because I haven't seen it really I know Arundel does something kind of similar but mm -hmm. it's totally more geared towards the high school so I think this is really the big first big event that I've seen come out of a um, public school community when I was in middle school, the only thing that I remember being introduced to about high school was probably 
summer soccer league mm-hmm. b- so that it would prepare you for joining the soccer team when you entered high school. But that was probably the most I ever saw was just the coaches coming to middle schools during gym class. Right. And it's, well, it's important really because we're also in the middle of our PCS season, right? where we're starting our PCS season. So mm-hmm. where there's a lot of new, at least from the military end, a lot of students who are totally brand new to yeah. the community. And that goes from new kindergartners mm-hmm. to all, all grades. So actually having an opportunity to be able to have this yeah, and it's a perfect opportunity for those transition and families coming to the Mead area where they might just want to find out what's here, what these schools offer. And because all of our schools will have a table with information, the PTSAs will be there, um, they're able to talk to them and see what's going on at their school and maybe even get involved, see how they can be involved as a parent just coming in to Fort Meade Base. Um, yep. And then I know some families are unsure of, you know, I live here, where is my student going to go? So those resources will also be there. So it's the perfect opportunity for those transitioning families that are transitioning around like this time. Pop quiz, when, when's the date? I'm pointing at Gloria Ann. Like. April 22nd? No. Oh, it was April 29th. I'm there so sorry. Bro. 10 to 2. 10 to and 2. Where? At Mead High School. Mead High School. Outside. 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 It's raining. It's going to be in Mead Middle. Mead Middle. It has so much more space than I thought. It does, actually. Yeah. And we didn't even use the whole building last mm-hmm. time. No. But it does have a lot of space. Um, and we have to move it there because of the awesome construction that's going on at Mead High School. Um, and because it's under construction, we're unable to host inside at Mead High School. So we would have to move to the middle school. Yeah, mm-hmm. And that was... Well, that was the impetus for Friends of Me, was the right. $125 million renovation. Yeah. Of like, you know, a lot of other communities, they celebrate a new school, but mm-hmm. because we weren't technically new, it wasn't seeming like we were getting the celebration. That, but it's going to be amazing. When oh, it's my done. gosh, The yeah. pictures, it's going to be beautiful. I know the pictures do it no justice once it's finished. Well, <laughs> it, it's going to look better. Yeah. I feel bad at basketball this year. They could hardly, they could only have yeah. like 40, 50 fans. Yeah. Oh, Hopefully that's that too bad. Fixed, but, well, then, that's just because of construction. So. And they were so good. They were. Yes. They made it all the way to, what, states? So you you know Dr. Kennedy enough. Does How does the school system recognize excellence? Like when you make it to a state championship, like it, Dr. Kennedy go out and like, I mean, I think I saw him at he the championship game. He did go to the game. championship game. Um, he went, uh, I went to the the regional game, um, but couldn't make it to the championship game because I had other obligations. But he did go to the state championship game. I know Dr. Bedell, the superintendent, he was there as well. Um, and lots of other staff who were there as well. And we're talking to the coach two weeks from now, right? Yes, we'll talk to him two weeks from now, and they'll get uh, released in early May, so be on the lookout for that. Is he going to bring any players with him? Yes, um, so he'll be bringing two sophomores with him. We're really excited to have them. Nice. Yeah, it'll be uh, Coach Glick and Coach McNeil. That sounds awesome. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So, Candace. Yes, Chad. Thank you so much. Thanks, you should come back. <laughs> you should come just do this every yeah. once in a while. We'll see what happens in the future. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't mind it. Yeah, you seem you, you, it fits like a pretty good shoe. I mean, you seem like well, you know what you're doing. <laughs> but thank you. Uh, April 29th, 10 to 2, Mean High School. Be uh, there. There will be lots to do. Fun for all ages, young and old. And information and resources given out. Are we going to use the Meat Strong hashtag? I'm getting so yes, mad at people that mm. Hashtag Meat Strong. Use it. Use yeah. it over it's right and here. over again. It's right here on this wall. <laughs> this is our first poster <laughs> in our podcast studio that will be shown. Well, it's an amazing poster. It is. You're right. You're right. <laughs> hey, can't argue with that. All right. Thanks and for having me, guys. All right. Yep, we're done. You're welcome. All right. Very good. Thank you, Candace.